then see Gauteng intimidate President Zuma not to attend its conference? Can ANC Gauteng sustain its opposition to the current e-tolling system? And does the ANC's two centers of power's unwritten policy not apply in Gauteng? Will the ANC in Gauteng be campaigning for Cyril Ramaphosa to lead the ANC? What time is it? It's question time. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Mpotseidu. The former Arts and Culture Minister Paul Mashatile was re-elected unopposed as chairperson of the province during the ANC's elective conference over the weekend. The outspoken former Gauteng Premier has maintained a hardline stance to oppose ETOs in the province, or should we rather say in its current form. <laughs> he says they changed their stance on ETOing because they believe that the system is not working and it's unpopular with the people of Gauteng. My guest in studio, NC Gauteng's provincial chairperson, Paul Mashatile. Dr. Mashatile, welcome to the show. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Paul. You have just emerged from a very interesting provincial conference. We'll deal with many other issues. <laughs> Radical yeah. social and economic transformation was the theme. Definitely, yeah. You saying the structure of the economy must reflect the demographics of South Africa. Definitely. We argued strongly for deracialization of the South African economy. Mm. We want to see more black people into the economy. We are proposing them for that uh, minimum 49% ownership by blacks in all key industries mm -hmm. in the period of the NDP. In other words, within 15 years, that mm -hmm. must be achieved. That's one proposal. Mm -hmm. But secondly, we are saying the South African economy must be restructured to focus on increasing local production. Uh, at the moment, we export a lot of our minerals. Mm. We don't beneficiate. Mm. So conferences, at least over this period of the NDP, let's move up to more than 30% beneficiation of our products. Okay. That 30% is also minimum. Mm. It should be more. I mean, 50% up. But we are saying minimum 30% because currently, I think we are less than 10%. Yep. So that's one of the proposals there. The effect of the matter is, in as much as we are the producers, and by we, I mean South Africa, we are the producers of uh, many uh, materials or raw minerals and all that. Mm. Fact of the matter is, they then exported yeah. to your Antwerp, to other countries. Yeah. And then by the time it comes back to South Africa, it costs more than what we as South Africans can afford. Yeah, it's it's, it's a finished product. So... We take our diamonds, we send them to Italy, then we buy jewelry back, mm. expensive. We don't create jobs uh, because jobs are created elsewhere. So we want to change that. And there are also other minerals that are critical. Mm. Um, if we have power stations here to create energy by ESCOM, mm. then surely you should restrict the export of your coal mm. because you need it here. Uh, so we are saying that we have to restructure our economy, but also look at other new areas. You know, South Africa is not anymore an economy that's based on mining. Mm. There's huge ICT now, knowledge economy, we need to look into it. The green economy now, we need to look into it. But we are saying the black people must come in to that economy. It's very important that we change the ownership pattern, but also equity. Because other people argue that, oh, okay, 49%, maybe you want to create just a black elite. No, mm. we want to see benefits accruing okay. to the broader society. Now, why is your government, Mr. Mashatile, not ensuring that all these things that you're talking about are happening? Well, they are going to happen. <laughs> 20 years into <laughs> democracy. They are going to happen. Uh, mm. <coughs> in fact, if you... You see, the mood in conference mm. was exactly that. Mm. Let's implement. Okay. Uh, no more talk, talk, talk. So 
you will see in the coming weeks that we'll be very busy mm. uh, with these ideas, putting teams in place. Mm -hmm. I'm planning to do a lot of meetings with my team, with the Chamber of Mines, okay. with the JSC. We are going to take people uh, from various institutions to look at, for instance, the idea of a state bank mm -hmm. that we want to uh, set up. Mm -hmm. um, so all these things are not going to just, oh, we took nice resolutions and sit back. Yeah. You're going to see a very active implementation plan. Now, I'll give you an example of somebody called Mzege, somewhere in Katleho, yeah. who says Paul is not telling the truth. Mm. When all these deals are going to be signed, we're going to see the same people who have connections within the ANC benefiting. How do you address Mzege? Well, I'll, I'll assure Mzege that uh, that will be prevented. Mm. Uh, because, you see, we don't want the same people to benefit all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, not, that's not equitable. Sure. Uh, you're just creating a small elite. We are saying it must be broader. And we will, we will watch it closely okay. uh, when it unfolds so that everybody benefits. That's why the Premier has been at the forefront mm -hmm. also of pushing township economy. Yes. And by the way, they are linked. Township economy, you can't separate it from the mainstream. Mm. You have to link it because township economy is big out there, but a lot of those resources are taken out yes. elsewhere. <laughs> yes. They are not benefiting those uh, who are in the township. So we need to ensure the linkages. But active support, government must buy mm. goods and services from those businesses as well. Okay. Um, you know, if, if we have a hospital in Soweto like Barra, um, surely if there's an entrepreneur who can bake bread in Soweto, why shouldn't Barra buy from them? That's well, the kind of support we want to see. Perhaps um, let's blame yeah. the special development that the reason why the resources are being taken out of the township mm -hmm. elsewhere is because the current apartheid special development doesn't work. Well, we must change it. Um, if you look at the 10-point plan mm. that the Premier announced now, is changing the spatial framework of how they. Okay. We are going to create new cities. Mm. Uh, we are going to make sure that people live closer to where they work. Okay. We are going to introduce new forms of housing, mm. um, flats, uh, so that there is enough rental accommodation um, so uh, there's going to be change. You, you, there's a lot of coordination now with the municipalities to change that kind of uh, uh, apartheid spatial framework because it's creating lots of problems for the economy as well. Okay. We're going to take a quick break. When we return, yeah. let's talk about the e-tolls. <laughs> I'm sure you're tired of talking about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see everybody likes <laughs> that topic. <laughs> this question time. We're going to take a quick break. Please don't go away. ABC News, we've got Africa covered. Good evening and welcome to yet another edition of Sports Live, the show that brings you the latest local and international news, live interviews with the who's who in sport. He's the first South African to wear a yellow jersey that was at the Tour de France this year. It's the first time that we get a boxer who's recognized by the Ring magazine as the best fighter in the planet to visit our country. And he's very close to world record base. And in fact, it is a new world record. When you cross the line, what went through one's mind? None of the four of us knew it one. The scoreboard is always on the left, but all of us tend to the right. <laughs> no, we just waited for the country to go down. RSA. RSA. That's Sports Live, daily at 8.30 p.m. on SABC News.
Zoom into Africa. This is Senegal. The president is Mr. Macky Sall. Senegal withdrew from the Mali Federation on 20 August in 1960. The population is more than 13 million people. One of the major languages spoken is French. Monetary unit is CFA. Person of the ANC in Gauteng, Paul Mashatile is my guest today. Now, Mr. Mashatile, yes. um, a lot of people think that you are saying, as the uh, ANC in Gauteng, that the Etols must go. Well, it's my people. Yeah. <laughs> it's not me. My people are saying they can't afford it. Okay. And they've given me a mandate with my team, okay. the PEC, to go and present that argument to the panel and look for alternatives. They have already cited, look at uh, some kind of surcharge or fuel levy. Okay. They are not very uh, uh, you know, uh, ex explicit about uh, the, the, the alternative method. They are mm. saying explore it, but make sure it's affordable. Okay. Um, the current one is not. Mm and we don't support it. So that's where we are. Now we are going to make a presentation in the coming week okay. to the panel appointed by the Premier. You are, and I don't mean you personally, but mm. the ANC in Gauteng, you are regarded as the <laughs> troublesome kids, basically, <laughs> within the ANC. You always <laughs> say things which nobody else wants to say, <laughs> and you have the courage. I mean, I want to quote you here. In as far as uh, the eat all system is concerned and Sunral, because Sunral says this is our terrain, yeah. Paul and your team stay away. Yeah. And you say, it's not that I don't like Sunral, but they must know their place. Government agencies don't run the country, but the ANC does. I don't like government agencies that take on politicians. They must go and be elected first. We appoint officials to implement the policies of the ANC. Sanral cannot tell us what to do. We tell them what to do. This is Paul Mashatil. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The ANC makes policy and government departments and agencies implement. That's, that's how it is. So we are saying when our people say we have a problem with this system in its current form, and we uh, in the province as the ANC, we say, okay, let's listen to that. Uh, perhaps it's, it's time that we review even the impact of this system. Mm. You can't have government officials running around and you know, differing with us. They must wait because we are listening to the people. In fact, they should be coming around and you know, listening as well, uh, so that we can come up with a solution. So that's our, that's my message, and mm. I'm not going to turn back on that one. Okay. Because I represent the people; they don't. Uh, so it's important that they must wait for this process. The premier has appointed a panel. Yes. We're going to come up at the end of November. Say, perhaps this is the way we should do this. Okay. Yeah. Now. Is it because you felt the pain more than any other province? We feel the pain, but we are a listening and caring organization. When mm. our people cry out for help, we must try and assist them. Mm. Uh, we must try and reduce the burden. Uh, mm. Otherwise, what does caring organization mean? If when people cry out, you look the other way. Mm. Um, yes, we feel the pain because our people uh, are saying to us, we love the ANC, we want to support you, but you're not listening to us. And many people know that uh, with this uh, election now, mm. um, you know, Gauteng 
ANC here in Gauteng lost about 10%. Correct. That's where I wanted um, to get to. Of the, of the, of, of the votes. Yeah. And therefore, we need to look at why were people not happy. Yes. And we found that one of the issues is they think we're not listening to them on this issue of ETOLs. So the people are not governing? In fact, the people are governing because it is them who are saying change the system. Is it <laughs> what is it is it a done deal? Is it going to fly, if I may use the the word? Um, that you know, etols are now going to be a thing of the past in uh, their current forms. We want an alternative system mm -hmm. um, that uh, will be affordable, yeah. that people will support. So. That's the input that we will make as the ANC to the panel. And hopingly, we believe that they will listen. If they don't listen? Well, I believe that they will listen because I think the majority of people here uh, are saying, please change the system. I think they should listen. Well, let's, let's, <laughs> just, let's just come up with a hypothetical scenario where they say, we had you, mm. but we don't think we agree with you. I think it will be like uh, standing in front of a moving train. This is... If they don't listen. The Mashatile train? No. The Houten people train that okay. is moving. What is it going to do? <laughs> well, I think it will crush anything that is in front of it. This includes Sanra? Particularly if they don't listen. Okay. I want us to take a break. <laughs> yeah. When we return, we're going to talk about the politics of the ANC yeah. out of government, yeah. but only after the break. For now, we're going to take a quick break. Please don't go away. We'll return shortly. take note of the following changes. Corsa and Zulu News bulletins will now be broadcast at 10 p.m., followed by Sesutu News at 10.30 p.m. Siswadi and Debele News will be at 11 p.m. and the Tsonga and Vende News bulletins at 11.30 p.m. Stay tuned to the SABC News Channel. In Parliament, Higher Education and Training Minister Bladen Zimande has conceded that the bursary scheme is not enough to meet the growing demand from students. Funding for universities is not enough. We will be open about that. We will continue to ask for more from government as a department. We've always said that the NASFAS budget must be 16 billion rand and that uh, no qualifying student must be prevented from studying just because they cannot afford to do so. There's been concern about citrus exports to Europe and investment contracts. There are more opportunities for us to sell sugar, wine, ethanol, some fruit products than we had before and that uh, that could create jobs. That's Business News, weekdays at 6 p.m. on SABC News. Guinea is reopening an Ebola clinic in its remote southeast in an effort to prevent sick nationals seeking better treatment elsewhere. The new labor law also seeks to clamp down on violent strikes by holding a trade union liable for violence committed by its members during a strike. The new canal is set to boost annual revenues to about $13 billion by 2023. It's part of a larger project to expand port and shipping facilities around the canal. This is Vegagas's fourth victory on the PGA Tour. That's all the weather that I have for you for now. Stay tuned. For all your business news, catch news at one every day. Be informed. Welcome back. You're still watching Question Time. I guess today is the ANC Gauteng Provincial Chairperson, Paul Mashatile. Now, Mr. Mashatil, yes. in 
Less than two years, mm. Dr. Ngosa Zanazamini Zuma finishes her term at the African Union. Yeah. Word has it that she's coming back to South Africa yeah. and she's going to be the candidate for presidency of the ANC. Yet, this is not according, if one may put it, to the tradition of the ANC, where you say that the deputy president mm. is the second best of what we have in the party. Mm. Are you going to support her candidacy? Well, I think this issue at the moment is like a big rumor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have not started that discussion. Okay. I think uh, maybe people are gossiping somewhere in the corners. Okay. Yeah. So the time will come. As journalists, we'll I'll decision. tell you something, Mr. <laughs> Mushatil. As journalists, <laughs> we know that rumors are, <laughs> in most cases, true. <laughs> you have come out uh, in support of um, the deputy president, um, Cyril Ramaphosa. Are you going to support him for presidency of the ANC? Well, when I was quoted on this matter, this is what I said exactly. Mm. Something closer to what you are saying. Mm. I was asked a question. Um, there's this uh, uh, issue going around about a woman president. I mm. said, look, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. Um, I think we should support women leaders. And then I was asked a question, uh, what about Cyril Ramaphosa? So I said, well, he's a currently our deputy president, and I'm sure when we start the discussion around who should be mm -hmm. the next president, surely he should be one of the people who should be considered because he's a deputy president. Mm -hmm. I left it there because it's too early to say who should be, but surely he should be one of those people that his name will be on the table. I know you're saying you left it there, but I want to expand it. Yeah. Will you support it? I know that ANC leaders often say, it is not up to me, it is up, <laughs> up to the people. Whatever the people say, I will do. Are you going to tell him that the people also recognize your abilities as a leader? Well, at the time when the names yeah. are put on the table, yeah. I will, like other ANC members, express a view at that time. Okay. Yeah. Which may include uh, Mr. Ramaphosa's. Well, at the moment, yeah. I, I, I keep it quiet until mm. that time. I don't yeah. want to support anybody, but I'm sure there will be names that will be put on the table. We'll look at them. Okay. And... Um, I'll Do you mind decide. him, though? <laughs> <laughs> uh, comrade sir. Yes. I don't, I don't mind him. Yeah. No. You would be happy with his presidency? I would have no problem. Okay. Mm. Not having a problem and happiness are two different things, Mr. Mashatil. Would mm. you be happy? Well, at, at that time, of yes. course, I'll yes. look at it and see... Uh, weigh your options. Yeah, weigh your options and see. Maybe there might be another better candidate. candidate. Yeah, so okay. who might convince me, like, hey, maybe this one is much better. Yeah. Okay. So the time will come. Uh, perhaps the question that one would ask is, is KZN the bully boy in the ANC? No. You stand your ground as shouting. But they never bullied us. Mm. In fact, many people don't know. When we went to Mangawu, yes. uh, you will recall that we went down to meet with them. Okay. PWC2. And we had good discussions. Mm. And then we agreed to disagree. Without being disagreeable. Yeah. So there was no bullying. In fact, it was a very cordial meeting okay. where we express a view, they express a view. Mm. And there were a lot of commonalities Okay. in that meeting, but things that we don't want to talk about publicly, okay. that we were agreeing on. Okay. But we agreed that as we go to Mangawung, we might differ on our preferences. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, we will be meeting with KZN very soon, okay. uh, because there were other issues that we discussed around 
broadly around the organization and the economy and the governance of the county. Okay. So they will be returning our visit okay. by coming to Gauteng to meet us. We will also be visiting the Eastern Cape okay. to have a discussion with them and other provinces. We want to encourage provinces of the ANC to visit one another and learn from one another. And lobby each other. It's not about lobby. <laughs> it's about uh, sharing experiences. Okay. For instance, when we go to the Eastern Cape, we'll be talking to them about radical social and economic transformation. <laughs> You're going to corrupt <laughs> uh, other kids there. <laughs> no, no. We're going to share okay. valuable experiences. By the way, we mm. are not the, the, the custodian of all knowledge sure. in the NCS Gauteng. Mm. We learn from other provinces as well. Okay. What should people expect out of your chairpersonship in the next term? In this term is to ensure that the resolutions that they took mm -hmm. in this conference are implemented. People are sick and tired of too much talk. Mm -hmm. They want action. So I want my chairpersonship to be a chairpersonship of action. Okay. Yeah. Perhaps one, if not last, yeah. the president didn't attend uh, the provincial conference as it was initially planned. And some said, no, Gauteng was not going to welcome him. You know, he was scared. They were going to boo him and all that. Was there such a plan? No. Where does this come we, from? We, we love our president. It's just uh, rumors flying around. In fact, uh, I spoke to the president a week before conference, before he went to New York, and I said to him, I'm going to come and see you so that I can brief you about the conference because you are going to come and open it. Mm -hmm. He said, good, let's talk. But when he came back, his schedule was not allowing him to come. Okay. So they phoned and said, look, he can't make it. Comrade Cyril will come, but if we can fit him somewhere, he will come. So we said maybe Sunday he must come and close, but it was not possible. So we understood okay. he had commitments. Paul Moshatili, let's leave it there. <laughs> thank you very much, Mpo. I really appreciate the yeah. time. That was question time for today. A big thank you to my guest and to you for watching the show. We welcome your feedback. Our email address, question time at sabc.co.za. Our Twitter handle, at question time 24 from me and the crew. Have yourself a wonderful time. Goodbye.